Another reason for having a strong performance is that it enables you to build a relationship with your fans. And you don't really get a strong relationship, you know, from just the audio itself. So by developing your stage show now, it gives you the ability to, number one, you know, when you're on stage, you, you have the close visual, the close proximity to your fans. Number two, after your stage show, you have the ability to now connect with them personally and actually have a conversation with them, strike up, strike up a conversation about, you know, the show, get their opinion, you know, make them feel like they're very valid, like, you know, their, their input is valid. So on that level, you can build a relationship with, with your fans just by having a strong stage show. You can also gauge the response to your music. You know, if people are talking during your show, it might not be the best song to record or it might give you more uh, reason to go back and revamp that song before you actually put it out there as a single to radio. So performing in front of people gives you so much advantages uh, just in terms of gauging you know, what your music, what, what the response is to your music, as well as building that relationship with your fans. And those are one of the, those are two strong things that, that, that are very important in this business, how people feel about your music and relationship. People that feel a strong connection to an artist are lifetime fans. And having a strong show enables you to develop lifetime fans. I have um, a 10 minute rule. I see a lot of new artists, they get on the stage and they're very excited to be on the stage. And they end up performing like half of their album on stage for about 20 minutes to half an hour. And what happens there is because the audience may not like your music, they end up not liking you as an artist. You kind of you lose that relationship. Um, the 10 minute rule is very important. 10 minutes gives you enough time to develop a connection with the audience. And it's also short enough time for you to cut the connection so that they want to hear more. Now, when I say that they want to hear more, that can come in a lot of forms. Number one is if there's a promoter in the audience. If he wants to hear more, he's going to book you for another show, right? If he's heard too much and doesn't like you, you lost your chance, right? The other part is if people want to hear more of you and you're selling a CD, they're going to get more by purchasing your CD, right? So the 10 minute rule, again, you want to develop, you want to be on stage long enough to develop a connection with the audience so that they like you, but you want to cut it off short enough so that they want to hear more. You have to leave them feeding. As a new artist, you are not in a position to be on stage for more than 15 minutes. You want to make sure the audience is engaged, they like you, they want to hear more, and then cut it off. 